Hi, wine pressers. It's me again. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 1. Isn't that an amazing thing to say? Do not let your hearts be troubled. So that is something that we do. We choose not to let our hearts be troubled. That's hard. I don't know if you find that. I find that hard. There's some things that, you know, I'll listen to on the news and stuff and suddenly have all this fear, anxiety starts to rise within me. I don't even know where it comes from. It starts to rise within me. And I've got to deliberately come against that. You know, like I was saying um, about Joshua, you know, don't be terrified and stuff. It's a deliberate choice. This is also a deliberate choice to trust, isn't it? You know, to not be terrified. I'm going to trust in God and I will not be troubled. You know, one of the things that I've found that helped me not be troubled is praise. Praise and worship. Just go around singing praise and worship. For those of us that doesn't have a great voice, it doesn't matter <laughs> because it's between you and God. But I, as I sing out my praise, I find my troubled spirit seems to come to peace. The troubles, if you like, flee away. The, the thoughts of fear kind of fear, flee away because praise and worship is now my focus. And whatever we focus our attention on gets the biggest part of our, our, um, our focus. <laughs> I kind of got stuck there. <laughs> Sorry about that. What, whatever the, the biggest image you leave in your head, you're, the, the experts tell us that your body subconsciously wires itself to fulfill the biggest image that you have in your head. So if, 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 if fear is the biggest image, your body wires itself to live out those fear responses. So through praise and worship, guess what we're doing? We're making God the biggest image in our mind and in our, in our head. So our, our body subconsciously lifts us to God. And now here's the amazing thing, guys, is that Jesus doesn't just sort of say this, do not let your hearts be troubled, trust in God, trust also in me. But he then gives us a promise, and the promise is the Holy Spirit. In this same chapter, Jesus, from verse 15, talks about if you love me, you will obey what I, uh, what I command, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you for forever, the Spirit of truth. The Spirit of truth. So by us trusting in God, God then gives us his Spirit, the Spirit of truth, which helps us live in the truths that I'm trying to share with you. And I love this because the result of this is in verse 27 where it says, Peace I leave, this is Jesus talking, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, my peace I give you. Don't we just need his peace right now in this situation we're in? I do not give to you as the world gives. Then, and then he comes back to it. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Friends, do not be afraid. Fight against that through the weapons of praise and worship and then open your heart for the Spirit of God to come and infuse you so full that you will find that that will lift you. It will lift you from the inside out sort of stuff and you will receive His peace. The peace that Jesus gives. Not the peace the world wants to give you through a vaccine or whatever else they want to give you. Uh, but it's the peace that's an inner peace that no matter what happens, God is with you. Hey, God bless you guys. I love you. Bye.